Hi you guys, it's me Nisi J. Today I want to come to you with how to look like you're not wearing makeup. If you are interested in seeing this video, then keep on watching. <laughs> to start off with with my face clean hands I always wash my hands before I start any kind of makeup routine any kind of skincare routine I like to apply a hyaluronic acid first thing so I either have the CeraVe or whatever kind of hyaluronic acid serum that is your favorite and I like the Revitalip I have so many different hyaluronic acids that I actually love but I think because I've been using this one so much by L'Oreal <laughs> it's the Revitalip I always talk about this so much in my videos it, it is the Revitalip hyaluronic acid but I think today I'm gonna use the CeraVe hydrating hyaluronic acid serum and I just take a, like a little bit like this Rub it into both and I apply it onto my skin in a upward position, okay? Just in a upward position. And I go down my neck. I need to grease my chair because my chair is squeaking every time I move. So I apologize if you hear that. And so always and I close my eyes this is <laughs> usually my relaxing time it's the first steps in my routine I love to start off with my skincare I always make sure I hydrate my skin always okay now what I like to do and you do not necessarily have to do this I like to use a um, Ceramide capsule and this is by Elizabeth Alden. I love Elizabeth Alden's products. I like their retinols, their hyaluronic acids. I like also the vitamin. Well, I like the vitamin C's and just most of their products I love. So I just take a little bit of this and I rub it together. And again, with this, I wait in between maybe about a couple, maybe about a couple of minutes as I'm talking. You know, I just usually just wait and just massage this into my skin my forehead and I like to press the products in and you do not want to forget your neck okay very important so I wanted to start off with my skincare to show you from beginning to end natural flawless makeup look that looks like you're not wearing makeup that's the goal really to look like you're not wearing makeup especially in your everyday routine you don't want to look like you're walking around with a face full of makeup going to the grocery store running your errands but sometimes i like to just look presentable and look like i'm not wearing a lot of makeup and really i'm not wearing a lot of makeup no, i'm not going to use my vitamin c today because i have already used my vitamin c at night so today i just go ahead straight in with my moisturizer and one of my favorite moisturizers is by pons now i use this because i have very dry skin and pons is tried and true it absorbs into my skin and keeps my skin hydrated all day long i can count on pons to do that for me and do not forget my neck i'm always conscious of my neck always again i just like to go in the upper position always i even moisturize my lips i exfoliate my lips probably twice a week because i love to wear matte lipsticks and in order to wear matte lipsticks you have to exfoliate to get that that dry skin, the layer of skin, dead layer of skin off of your lips. So, next to last step is my eye cream. And so usually this is a debate on which eye cream I'm gonna use. I have the Saturday, let's see. Um, this has vitamin C, eye brightening. It has vitamin, let's see, your vitamin C bright eye cream or the one by Ren. It's brightens dark circles in eye cream. So I don't have really any dark circles today. So I'm gonna use the one by Saturday. Well, these are one of my two favorite for brightening your eye area. Let's go in with the Ren. I always use the Saturday round. The Saturday, what is it? Uh, 
Saturday skin eye cream. I use this a lot. So I'm going to use the red. And let me just show you how this looks. I'm just going to show you. This is the one I want to use today. And I'm just going to take a little bit and I apply it on my ring finger. Okay, and I believe this one has vitamin C in it as well. But I will list everything that I'm using in the description box below. Just in case I don't I forget to show it, I will have it linked. And I apply it all up under my eye around. I don't go all the way up. You know, I go around it. Some people go right up in here, which is fine if that's what you want to do. You know, you can. Let me just do it for sake of... But usually I go around the lid, but let's go on top of it because sometimes it helps to moisturize them eyelids as well. And it is the eye cream. So, but in school, we was taught to kind of go around the eye, like around the eye area and above the eye. But we're going to go in here as well. And when I say in school, we used to, um, I worked for Estee Lauder, um, Fashion Fair, Interface Cosmetics, and prescript Prescriptives. And so, yeah, went for a couple of lines and they always would send you to these little classes at least a couple of times a year to update you on skincare products and how to use it and how to apply it on the clients that come to the counter. And I was mostly the manager at the, at the counter, so I always instruct and show them how to do it and so forth. So, but techniques change. And I always like to apply with my ring finger. The ring finger is the most delicate finger, okay? It's the, it's the most delicate finger for your face, especially your eye area, okay? You really want to be delicate because you're not trying to move or make any kind of wrinkles. <laughs> you know, if you have little fine lines and wrinkles, you're not trying to increase them. So this is the best little fingers to use, okay? And I got so used to it, it's automatic. I, Anytime I'm touching my eye, I'm always using the ring fingers. Now, once I have that moisturized, I go ahead and let that just sink in. And I'm coming in now with my sunscreen. Very important, very important. I don't care if you are you have a window that the sun is coming through, you're outside. If it's an overcast, always wear your sunscreen. Always. I have a couple. That's my favorite. Ivia Sun Super Water Gel SPF of 50. Oh, I'm going to do the, you know what, I'm going to do the glow one because we're going for a natural glowy look. And you, you know, when you're going for a natural look, you kind of want your skin to look glowy. You know, like maybe I, you just applied moisturizer on and that is it and you're out the door. <laughs> That's what you want to do. So I'm taking that and usually use like a nickel size maybe, maybe a dime size, but I use about a nickel size and I apply it on my neck as well. As you can tell, your skin is already looking fresh and hydrated and glowy and just super moisturized and hydrated. That is the way I love my skin to feel. Now, if you have oily skin, you may not like that feeling, but you still need to moisturize, apply your serums and things like that. You can use the moisturizers for oily skin or normal skin or combination skin. So you want to do the same thing, but use the products for your skin type. Now, the next thing that I like to do is find a product that looks natural on your skin. Preferably, in my opinion, for everyday wear, I like to use a tint or a powder foundation. Today, I think I'm going to use, yeah, my BB Fresh. I'm always talking about the L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite. As you can see, look at this. It is all the way down. I've, I use this so much. But this is a really good skin tint as well. It's very light and it gives coverage. It looks natural on the skin. And this is by Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. It is a broad, it has, also has an SPF in it of um, 30. And yeah, so, and I'm in the shade Medium Deep Sheer Tint. Okay, so yeah, it is 8-in-1 Skin Perfector. What I like to do is just apply it on one of my makeup. You know, that I have one for me and I have one for, that I use for my clients. But this is for me. I just, just apply a little bit on here. And then I take my makeup brush. And this is by BK Beauty. And I'm using number 106, 106 brush, the makeup brush. 
I love these brushes. They are so nice and they're so soft and they just apply beautifully. Now you can use your hands. A lot of times I will use my hand, but sometimes when I'm getting a really, really natural look, I like to apply it in a stubbling way, you know, like this. I like to just take it and just stubble the tint onto my skin. Now you can use your hands. A lot of times using your hands and fingers is the best way, you know, but I would like to use the brushes as well. You want to get something that's really close to your skin that looks natural, that blends well, and you're really not trying to get a makeup look, okay? You're going for a more natural look, okay? So that's what we're going for, something that really looks natural. I like to keep my blemishes, like my freckles, or if I have a mold or things like that. Sometimes when you keep those, it really make, gives the appearance of natural. Like, okay, she really doesn't have any makeup on. And that's what you like. And I like to blend around the hairline. Now you see, it looks a little different right now with the hairline, but then I go in with a damp sponge. And these sponges, are, I think I buy Elf, a Wedding Wow, one of these. And I just take it and go around first and dab off the excess on the face first. As you just see, it's just really making my complexion look even. It's just evening out everything. And that's basically what you want to do with a natural look. You don't want to go all in full coverage. You can. But to get a really, really natural look that's believable, <laughs> you want to go in very lightly with a nice shade that completely matches your complexion. You don't want it to be too light. You don't want it to be too dark. You kind of want it in between just right, okay? And this right here, it looks like it's not blending, but then once you tap off on your face, then you want to take it up and go around that hairline. That makes it believable, okay? When you go around the hairline. A lot of times you have to let this settle and you'll see it starts to blend. And a lot of times I like to match my face with my neck area, like in this area. Sometimes I have to get a little red in here, so I may apply whatever is left on the brush, especially if I'm wearing shirts like this. If I'm not, then, you know, I don't really go all the way down to the neck area. Since foundations wash you out completely, now you need to go in. The foundations, I mean, it, it would definitely wash you out with a bronzer. Usually I'm using my Charlotte Tivory or my Fenty. I've hit pan on this one. So you know what? I'm going to use my Fenty and I'm using the one called Camel Cutie. Okay. I've used this a lot and I'm taking my BK Beauty brush in 101 and I am just going to take it and just apply it to the tops right here. Okay, this kind of gives you that sun kiss look very lightly right across your forehead. And you can hit your hairline as well. Okay, hit that hairline right on the wrap. And I always like to say from here, your ear, your down here, it's almost making a three and around your neckline, okay? So you're basically making a three. Once you hit this area here, Right, right here where your ear is, then you start coming down, your cheekbone, okay? And then around to your jaw. Same thing, around here. Okay, down, it's a three. <laughs> Basically, and then as you get older, you know, you start want to make sure you kind of carve out that jawline sometimes if your face gets a little thin, bigger. <laughs> Who hot flash, y'all, hot flash. I'm telling you, these brushes are so easy to work with and it feels so good. I love them. So, we're really we're kind of bronzing, but then you kind of sculpting all at the same time but not real not a lot you know you're just giving you adding you some color because makeup foundation tints they wash you out so you want to bring some color to you you really do 
even around your nose area you can do that as well okay just to make your nose look a little thinner thin it out a little bit okay <laughs> once that is done and I feel like that looks all right that looks pretty good okay now you want to go to your eye your eyebrows now I'm gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows up okay had them done a little bit not too much I did a little something I'm gonna take a natural brown okay since my hair is a little reddish brown I take like a little of a, a Sometimes the ash brown, a regular brown, and kind of just fill them in. Never black. Never, ever, 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 ever black. Unless your hair is just really that black coat. And I've seen that, and I've had some people where I've actually had to, like, want, like, Indian. I did an Indian girl. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I had to use black because her eyebrows and her skin and her hair was that natural black so I used like a soft black not nothing not not a harsh black I used a very soft black now anytime I'm doing other makeup nine times out of ten if I'm doing an eyebrow I'm using a brown okay even if you, you feel like you want to use a dark brown use a brown it doesn't look harsh you don't want your face to look really hard that's, that's something you do not want. So you always want to make your brows look natural. Light toward this area, you know. And you can go darker around this area. You want to go darker toward the ends because that's how a natural brow is. Usually lighter here, darker on, darker on the ends, okay? So a lot of times with the natural look, I don't go in and I don't clean it up, okay? That's just... I mean, if you want to, you can. I may take a little brush and kind of just, but I really don't clean it up as much with a natural look. If you just kind of just want to make sure you, you know, you even it out a little bit, kind of just take a little thin brush and just kind of go around it. But other than that, I'm not cleaning up a natural look. I'm going to take one of my favorite. Now, this is one of my favorite um, concealers, and this is by Dior. Okay, I do like the e.l.f. too, but I think I'm going to use the Dior today a little bit on the lids first thing and because I want to give it more of a neutral type look. I'm taking a regular brush that I like to use for my concealer around my eye area and I'm just kind of blending it out. If you have darkness, if you have, you know, you can actually use a eye primer. Okay, eyeshadow primer, but you know, for me, I like to use this concealer. I think it kind of um, evens out my darkness on my eye area, and it's a great placement for my bronzer because I'm not really wearing any eyeshadow now. And I do wear eyeshadow, but for these natural looks, I do not. I just kind of wear more of a bright type concealer first and this one is by Dior and I am in 3.5 N okay this is how it looks right here the thing that I do not do when I'm applying the foundations or tints or anything I don't take it all the way up to my eye area as you can tell see that is just left regular but we're gonna fix that so now what I want to take I'm taking my um, BK Beauty brush and 201 and I'm gonna use the same Fenty powder that I did my contour with and I'm just gonna apply it all over my eye area all over the lid now you just add in color back to your complexion okay you want to even it out first make your eyelids look the same you know just use the concealer to even it out and then you can take it on down the nose area if you feel like you know you want a little bit more contouring on that nose a little motion just all around the lid in the crease have hooded eyes so I try to hit that crease area first and then bring it on up this is taking a little bit of time because I'm talking it through. Usually this takes me every bit of five minutes, okay? Five minutes, if that. 
Now, it depends on if you want to wear liner or not. You can wear liner on your lid, but the trick that I found that I think works so well, in my opinion, you can take a black liner and kind of just go right up on your lashes, okay, right? And when you darken your lashes, you make your lash, it makes it, it make it look like you have, like it darkens your lashes and it gives you like a little line as well. I don't know if you can see the difference. Let me just show you. I don't know if you can see the difference in how that would look and how that look. The lashes look a little fuller right up in here. This one does it. You see what I'm saying? It just gives you your lash line a little deepness to it. Now, I will use black for that, but not up under my eye either, okay? I use brown. I want to get a good one that really manipulated well with it, okay? Because if not, then you have a hard time trying to go up in your eye. This one goes on smoothly. That's what I like. Take my lash curler. You can wear your lashes. Then the funny part with this, you can wear natural looking lashes with this or you can just use mascara. Today, mascara. <laughs> you all know, I'm kind of a little lazy with my makeup a little bit sometimes. I don't do certain things. See now, with the curls, I'm just taking that and I'm just applying it onto my lash. I may do a couple of coats. Be careful, ladies, if you have hooded eyes because sometimes these can go right up on top of your lid. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, yeah, take this one. It's, it's 203, and I'm gonna dip it into my Fenty bronzer again, and I'm just gonna apply it under my lash line. Natural. It gives you a natural appearance. You may not see it, but really, if you take a picture before and after, you can tell, it, it gives you a fullness un under your eye without making it look like you have liner on. It's amazing, I'm telling you. I do this all the time. It just gives you, completes your eye look. <laughs> Not gonna use this one, the Dior concealer, because it is a little bright. And I don't like that bright eye. I don't like how that looks. It looks sometimes, it can make you look older. It can age you, okay? But so I like to like apply a little bit of my e.l.f. It kind of gives me coverage, but not a whole, whole, right? It doesn't make me look like I just have a bunch of concealer on. It's more natural. And you can actually go natural if you like. If you don't need have to use concealer, skip this part. Because sometimes I don't need concealer either. And I will skip this. But today, I need concealer. <laughs> and so we're just going to blend this. Okay, uh, we're just going to blend because I have a little unevenness. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just blend this all the way. Make your eye area. I do one eye at a time, okay? <laughs> And if you say, oh, I need a little bit more, add a little bit more to it. But you don't want to, you don't want to make it where it's looking too, like you have a whole bunch of concealer on, okay? You want it to look very light, very natural. Then you take your setting spray. Spray, I like to spray a little bit on my hair and place it up under my eye, okay? You're going to let this dry. Place it under here. Let that dry. Once this dries, then I'm going to take my air, my Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I like it. I like the way it looks under my eye. This one is in number, let me see, this one is in number three. I think I'm going to take this one in number two. Yeah, this is one of my favorites right here. Yeah, number two, because this one is, is for my face and this one is for my eye, as you can tell. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this one, once that dries, swirl it around just a little bit, tap, 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 and apply it under that outer area. We're not baking. Mm -mm. We don't bake. Baking will make me look a 
pantry, okay? So no, that is a no-no. And I like to just sweep it up under there. That's it. Then on to the next eye, okay? <laughs> And if you want to use like a brown liner, you can. That is, it's just really up to the look that you want. But I like the nice, you know, brown bronzy look. And I can take my little angle brush, which I love. I think it's so perfect. Um, 205 brush by BK Beauty again, and just kind of go up under to really soften it. You can just blow it out more. Okay, just blow it out more. I love it. So now, what I like to do is add a little bit of blush. A little brush. I'm using this um, baked blush by Milani, and it is called Coral Cove. It's more of a pinky peach. I love them because now what you're gonna do? Never bring it all the way down because that ages you. It makes you look really older when you apply when you're already older and you're applying blush right in this area it just gives you that dolly tight look you know what i mean so you want to apply start from right here just a little bit just a little bit right here okay if it gets too much you can use the powder too actually but i like to apply it right here when you apply it right here it makes it appears to go it looks like it's going all the way down anyway Okay, so you just want to apply a little bit here. I'm going to take my face powder, the one in number three, Charlotte Tipperary. I'm going to use my big old brush, my powder brush 102, and I'm just going to swirl it around in it. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to apply that onto my face. And if you feel like you put too much brush on, just tone it down with the powder. Okay, just use a little bit. Oh, I'm not putting too much up under the eye area, just all over your face. Spray my face first and then apply my highlighter. So, we're going to do that. One of my favorite highlighters is by Milani, but I'm not going to use that today. I will link it down here because I'm going to put all of my favorite products down there. But I'm going to use a little softer highlighter. This is by Hourglass. It is the ambient light, okay? The Hourglass. And I use this a lot too because I like how soft it is when you're going for a natural look. So I'm just going to take that highlight and just apply it. You just want to give yourself some light, but natural light. You don't want it to look like, boom, I'm wearing highlight. I like the way it applies after you use your setting spray. Right here, around your temples, right in this area where light hits. Your cupid's bow, if you like, not too much though. This gives you that fresh, dewy look, okay? That just a little brush that you can dip in here. Just put a little bit right there, just a little bit to open your eyes up. Okay, to make it to make you look away. I want to use my lip liner. And this is a lip liner. Where is it at? Oh, by um, was it minted dope lip pencil? And it is in the shade. I can't see it. It says dope lip pencil, but I will link it. This is one of my favorite, favorite um, matted lip colors. I get asked quite often what color I have on. And this is by Milani, my favorite, favorite for lip colors and lip um, matte lipsticks. And it is a matte. And it is in number 11, Precious. This color is not really in your face. It's a really nice nude color. So I guess it is in the nude family, but this is one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite nude lipsticks. This is the natural look right here that I have. I hope you like this look. I like it. This is my everyday, like if I'm running out doing errands, this is the look that I wear mostly every day. And this usually takes me all of five minutes. Now, you'll learn how to just tweak your natural look 
to how you need it to be, whether you know you want to wear tinted moisturizers, whether you want to wear a foundation and share it out a little bit. When you show your imperfections, it makes your look appear more natural, okay? And you're really not wearing a lot of makeup. Just really evening out your skin tone, I guess, with the tinted moisturizers is actually what we used and some powder, okay? We didn't really use eyeliner. We used the eyeliner above. We used mascara. We didn't use eyeshadow. We used bronzer all over our face. So basically, we just did a nice natural look. So that is all I have for you today. I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel on the way out if you haven't done so already and thank you so very much for just taking time out to watch my videos i greatly appreciate it peace and love until next time